If you're new to cycling and want to learn about the different types of bikes and what essential accessories you need to make cycling more enjoyable, this is the complete guide for you. We'll look at the many different types of bike available to help you choose the right one. Whether you're looking to swap the car for the daily commute, or want to get lost in the woods on an adventure, or just encourage your family to get more active for the health and fun benefits two wheels offer. Cycling is hugely accessible. All you need is a bicycle and a few basic accessories, and you can be spinning along in no time at all. Cycling provides the freedom to explore the countryside, provides numerous health benefits, beats the traffic around town, and if you're competitive, there's a world of road and mountain bike racing waiting for you. So what bike should you buy? And what bike do you need? Bikes come in many shapes and forms, but they share the same fundamental underpinnings of two wheels, a handlebar for controlling the direction, and pedals for turning your fuel into forward motion. Which bicycle you choose will depend on your requirements. Ask yourself things like, do you want to cycle with the family? Do you want to get into road racing? Do you want to commute to work? Do you want to go mountain biking? Let's jump in and take a closer look at each of the main bike types. A hybrid or city bike is designed for getting you from home to work or college or school or just to the shops. It'll be tough and sturdy, be comfortable and be able to carry books, laptops, groceries and usually comes fitted with mud guards to keep you dry and lights for visibility. If you want to ride on the road, a classic road bike is an obvious choice. They're lightweight and designed for speed and comfort, with a wide range of gears for challenging hills. If you want to emulate two of the France heroes, this is the bike for you. They can be used for racing, long distance sportives, or simply exploring the countryside with friends and family. Modern road bikes are versatile and many are perfect for commuting too, with the ability to fit mud guards and racks for carrying loads. They can be very affordable, or you can spend many thousands of pounds on top of the range models with all the latest technology. Based on a road bike, a touring bike is designed for long distance rides with an emphasis on comfort. They're ideal if you want to embrace cycling for the health benefits and enjoyment of exploring your surrounding countryside and aren't really interested in riding as fast as you can everywhere. Comfort is a key focus so they're usually designed around wider tires, which are durable and long lasting. Mud guards, racks and lights are common features to ensure extra practicality. Mountain bikes are built for going off-road with chunky tires, tough frames, suspension and low range gears. They can go up and down impossibly steep trails and can come in many forms from lightweight cross country race bikes to all-purpose trail bikes, to dedicated downhill race bikes for tackling the most severe of descents. Most entry-level mountain bikes combine a rigid frame with a suspension fork and disc brakes, providing maximum control on tricky trails. Spend more and you can get a full suspension mountain bike, which will provide more comfort and capability on extreme trails. Imagine a road bike with chunky mountain bike inspired tires and you've got a gravel or cyclocross bike. Cyclocross bikes are primarily used for racing, a popular winter sport on dedicated circuits. Modern gravel bikes, a more recent development, are designed for mixed terrain adventures and can be used for combining road riding with off-road trails to long distance bikepacking adventures where you carry all your camping equipment for an overnight stop. Gravel bikes are hugely versatile, durable and easy to ride. Factors that make them ideal for commuting too. For longer commutes, where you might have to drive or use the train for part of the journey, a compact folding bike is an ideal choice. Typically designed with small wheels with a frame that quickly and easily folds in on itself. They can fit in the boot of a car or in the luggage compartment on a train. Quick and nimble, they're perfect for short trips across the city, from station to office, where you can easily fold it away and store it under your desk. Electric bicycles are the latest innovation in cycling 
and combine a small motor and battery, often concealed in the frame or rear wheel, to provide pedal assistance. Yes, you still have to pedal, it's not a motorbike. The motor matches your pedaling and you can choose the level of assistance to suit your requirements. Max power on the steep hills and economy on flat roads to prolong the battery life. E-bikes are the fastest growing category at the moment as they make cycling more accessible to many more people. They're ideal if you're put off by hills, are worried your fitness will hold you back on longer rides or want to replace a car for the daily commute. Introducing the next generation of young riders to the joys of the sport is one of the undoubted pleasures of biking. But it's important to bear in mind some key considerations when purchasing a bike for a child. Bikes for children come with wheels of 12 inches for two to four year olds, all the way up to 26 inch wheels for the over 10s. Most kids will care more about the color scheme than about the spec of the bike. So make sure you buy with your child's preferences in mind. Any bike will be ridden more if it's loved. If you want more information about buying a new bike, head to the buying guide in the link in the description. And if you've got any questions about buying a new bike, leave a comment down below.